Aloha, it's Crash with Radar Contact. I'm here to show you guys real quick a uh, different way to mine, especially if you're uh, in a venture or something that you have to haul a lot of ore back and forth. Just a little bit of a, a different way to do it so that you're not spending so much time going back and forth and you spend more time mining. So it takes a couple things to do this. You've got this Myasmus here that is a dedicated ore hauler. It's built just for hauling ore. When I pull it up here, you can see it has a cargo hold capacity of 550 M3. Uh, this one has an ore capacity of 63,000 M3. So it can hold 63,000 worth of ore, but only 550 worth of cargo. So what we're going to do, we're going to load up a huge uh, freight container. We're going to put that inside the cargo hold. So now you can see 500 over 550 in our cargo hold is used up. This huge freight container, if you show info, it can hold in space once assembled 50,000 M3 of whatever you want to put into it. In this case, we're going to put ore in it. So this freight container can hold 50,000. This particular miasmus that I have on this character can haul 63. I believe if you have no skills, then, then you're somewhere closer to around 40,000 M3. And let's undock and meet the orca that's currently out there in space. All right, so here we are back with the Miasmus. We're going to press Alt-C to open our item inventory. We're going to right-click our huge freight container, and we are going to launch for self. It asks you, are you sure you want to jettison it? You say yes. All right, so now that we've jettisoned it, you'll see right here, it's called Huge Freight Container. If you want, you can rename it. Which, let's go ahead and rename it. We'll name it our name. Jayco. So now, Jayco can't mine in the little miasmus, so he's going to throw it inside the orca. We have to be within approximately 2,000 meters from the orca in order to use the ship maintenance bay. Last Jericho is 1,483 meters from us, so we're within distance. We're going to right click and we're going to click store vessel. And you're going to see the Mismus is going to disappear. We'll be left here in our tiny little pod. So now the freight hauler is actually inside the Orca. We're going to right click it again. And we're going to click Ope Ship Maintenance Bay. All right, so when we open the ship maintenance bay, we can see that we've got a frigate in here, which I believe is a venture and the industrial was our Mismus, our ore hauler. So now we're going to board, hopefully, this venture. So we can click board ship from bay or we can click launch ship from bay. If you launch it, it shows up in space, it's blue, and then you have to board it while it's in space. If you click board ship from bay, then you can just jump right in it. Also note that you cannot store anything inside the orca if it has anything in the cargo hold or inside the ore hold. They have to be empty. So now you can see we got this little venture here and we can go ahead and mine with it. Walk our rock, press F1, press F2, and we start mining. As you notice here, we have about a 10 kilometer range without orca boosts. So the orca hasn't started yet boosting. So let's go ahead and boost. The other thing you'll note is that it says it's 145 M3 per 60 seconds. That's per laser, or approximately 2.43 meters cubed. So now, this right here is showing that we're getting some boost. It tells you what it is. 86.3% uh, to mining and survey module range bonus. Negative 20 or the negative 32.3% to mining modules duration and capacitor use, and negative 32.3% to mining crystal vol volatility bonus. The biggest thing that's changed for us is we're still mining 145 meters cubed, but instead of it being per 60 seconds, you've now decreased it down to 40.6 seconds, which is a really big change. The other thing you'll notice the range has changed. So instead of the optimal range, which was earlier 10 kilometers, it's now 19 kilometers. So you can sit in one place 
and still hit a lot of rocks that are a lot further, which comes in really handy when we're using our um, cargo container right here to store our ore. So the way we store our ore, well first, let's look at our ship. So we go to the item hanger. We see that our venture or hold capacity is 5,000 M3. We can right click our container and see that our capacity for what we can put in the container is 50,000 M3. So we can sit here and mine without having to go to the hangar back and forth. What is it, five times is what we would have to do it normally to go drop our ore off and everything. So instead we'll just sit here and we'll mine until the huge freight container is full. All right, so now let's go ahead and see how our container's doing. I'm gonna right click it, I'm gonna click open cargo. Looks like we're at about 37,601 M3. So we'll go ahead and shut our lasers off. So we gotta check our venture, make sure that all of our scordites put into the container, which we didn't have done. That's good, the drone bay's okay. So now we're gonna go back to our ship maintenance bay and our orca. We're gonna open ship maintenance bay and we're going to get back into our miasmus board a ship from bay. All right, so now the venture is back inside the orca and we're now in the miasmus. All we have to do now is right click again on our container, open cargo, and then put it in our miasmus ore hold. So now we've just emptied our huge freight container. It's back down to zero. You didn't have to make five trips back and forth, back and forth. You have a whole bunch of ore inside the miasmus. So now you can run it back to the station. So let's take it to the station, drop it off. Warp drive active. And that is basically all you do. So you can keep your venture and your miasmus. I almost always have a miasmus inside the orca for whoever wants to board it and haul their ore. You can do the same thing without the orca. So instead you would start inside this station here with this miasmus. You would put the container in the miasmus. You would warp out to your belt, drop it off wherever you want it to be. Then come back, grab your venture, take your venture out and mine. If you guys have any questions about this, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If you did, please leave a like and maybe possibly subscribe if that's something you're into to see further videos. Fly dangerous.